which is the continent through which Tropic of Cancer, Tropic of Capricorn and Equator passes. So obvious choice is very limited. Out of that answer is the Africa continent. Through Africa continent all these three major circles that is Tropic of Cancer that is 23 and half north then zero that is equator and 23 and half south that is Tropic of Capricorn that all passes. If person wants to go uh, through Black Sea that uh, person wants to travel and he wants to enter in Black Sea through Mediterranean Sea is it possible what is the route that a person can enter from Mediterranean Sea to Black Sea answer is very simple uh, there is Sea of Marmara that is separating out Europe and Asia so that is Sea of Marmara a small channel actually it is there but person can travel through Sea of Marmara uh, because to the west side of that there is a Constantinople and east side remaining part of Turkey now old name Turkey original name Turkestan it is there have you heard word that is isthmus so uh, and uh, do you know any one such location where isthmus is there the answer is yes the meaning of that place uh, it is exactly opposite of strait so you are aware of strait of gibraltar where mediterranean sea and atlantic ocean they are connecting out so similar phase where two land masses are connected by narrow land so that's that region that is called as isthmus so here uh, we can check out between connecting link between north america and south america particularly at panama panama is name of uh, country as well as city so there we can get this isthmus what is diego garcia and uh, where it is located so this is actually located in indian ocean this is called as british indian ocean territory but now uh, navy of usa that is there uh, you can check out the location of diego garcia it is to the south of kanyakumari extreme south in the Indian Ocean, you can find this location of Diego Garcia. When partition of India was carried out, at that time there was major part that is uh, partition of Punjab. And then the borders are created between Pakistan and India, particularly Pakistani Punjab and Indian Punjab. So uh, what is the name of that border line? that is between Punjab of Pakistan and Punjab of India. So for that purpose a commission was set out that is called as Radcliffe Commission and the line set up that is called as Radcliffe Line. What is blue moon? So literally speaking moon is not having any color uh, like blue. So same way blue moon is the concept. This is arriving because of English calendar that is Gregorian calendar not according to Indian calendar. Uh, in a single calendar month if two full moon days are there then second full moon days moon is called as blue moon which is very 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 rare. Because can we observe moon on new moon day? It's uh, some funny question as there is no moon in the sky that's why we are calling this as new moon day actually this is problem of english language in sanskrit we are calling this as amavasya but what are the thing can you observe this moon on amavasya or new moon day answer is yes now you have to write down answer uh, in the comment box where it is located and when we can observe all right so you have to write down this answer on uh, comment box where it is located the moon at new moon day where it is located and when we can observe in one of the short the question was asked that uh, can we observe moon at new moon day where and what is that occasion so answer is that yes we can observe moon on new moon day 
I'm again saying new moon day, not in the night time. Because moon and sun both are towards the same side. And that's why in the night sky, wherever you are going to locate, you will not get, uh, you are not able to observe moon in the night sky. But during daytime, that moon is there, but dark side of moon is facing us. And so we are not able to locate out unless the occasion is of solar eclipse. So at time of solar eclipse, whatever you are observing, whether it is partial solar eclipse, annular solar eclipse or total solar eclipse, that eclipsed thing is moon. When we can observe solar eclipse from earth, obviously we have to think of this only. So, uh, this is a very primitive level question, but I am going to answer because uh, many people are not aware of this. So, I must answer that uh, solar eclipse is observed only on new moon day. Okay, but every new moon day is not having solar eclipse. So, uh, chances are there at that time when sun moon and earth are collinear in this sequence then only chances of solar eclipse are there when is the highest high tide possible okay question so highest high tide possible so for that purpose first thing that uh, moon and sun must be towards one side of earth exactly and moon earth and Sun must be collinear. So this side is possible. Uh, uh, this thing is possible at new moon day. So you can experience very high tide at new moon day as well as full moon day also. Both way it is possible to experience very high tide. But now not only that you can check out that uh, earth is at perihelion position that is going close to sun and moon is at perigee position. And then it is new moon day or full moon day, then you can experience much more higher high tide. Many times we hear the word that it's super moon and sometimes blue moon also. So what is that? So super moon, you are aware that moon's orbit around earth is not circular, it is elliptical one. And sometimes moon is coming very close to earth and sometimes it is going away from earth. So when moon is at peri G, peri means in vicinity. So it is in vicinity of earth. And at that time, suppose there is full moon day. Then that moon is called as super moon. Blue moon is not Indian concept. We are going to discuss in next video.